Praise be to Jesus. Let us pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi everyone, Charles back here with you. Uh, following the conviction of Cardinal George Pell in the Australian state of Victoria last week, new details have emerged about the nature of the crimes for which he has been found guilty. You know, because there's been a gag order on this, uh, um, not only the trial, but some of the, <laughs> some of the uh, earlier stuff that was going on. I have word with that. I have trouble with that word, preliminary. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Pell was found guilty December 11th on five charges of sexual abuse of minors following accusations that he sexually assaulted two former members of the Melbourne Cathedral Choir. A sweeping court injunction prevents the nature of the accusations, the progress of the case, or the... or the even the results, well, that's not right, of the trial from being discussed by the media in Australia. Despite the gag order, CNA has spoken to several individuals who attended Pell's trial in person, as well as others present for a pre-trial hearing in early 2018. So uh, I read some of this. Uh, the details are just... Um, Boy, there's a lot of trouble with these details. Um, uh, boy, it's really questionable here. You know, uh, you really wonder how how he got convicted of this. Of course, it was a jury, and you know, we know Australia is really a liberal place. Now, remember, you know, not that long ago, there was a bishop or archbishop um, who was convicted, but his um, conviction was overturned. Um, on appeal. So, um, you know, I mean, if you, um, you know, if you're interested in this, you ought to read about the particulars. I mean, there's just some glaring, very strange things about, um, you know, I mean, there's no way he could have been there at that time. And, you know, there's backup proof for that. Um, boy, uh, you know, well, the way this article is written, it really seems like, uh, there is a really, like, I'm, I would just guess offhand, like 90% chance he was railroaded here. Um, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens there. Uh, anyway, that's the update with that story, and we'll continue on. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.